Hi everyone, welcome to day 57 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn. Today is Monday the 28th of February 2022. Um, the training for today has been a morning gym session with um, circuits including Navy Seal burpees, lunges, box jumps and plenty of other things. Um, so that's a bit of fun. And then the, the lesson of thought for the day is about 10,000 hours. Um, and there's a Malcolm Gladwell book called Outliers and there's been plenty of other studies on on 10,000 hours and the concept basically applying it to in, in the Outliers book um, what makes professional sportsmen top level professional sportsmen good at what they do uh, what are the similarities between all the top level Michael Jordans in basketball Babe Ruths in baseball top level tennis players etc and they all have super fast reactions in their sport and they're all um, you know they're quick as they need to be they, they read the play they there's a reason why they're at the top level but the big similarity between all of them was that they all had somewhere around 10,000 hours of practice time in their chosen sport and what that meant was that um, Babe Ruth top level baseball player hitter back in the day um, he had super fast reaction time but they but they worked out that it was he could read things that were happening when the the pitcher's pitching the ball, he could read the shoulder movements, he could read little twitches, he could see things. And the reason he could see these things is because he'd done 10,000 hours of practice. It wasn't genetically blessed or some superpower, supercharged brain or anything like that. It was just 10,000 hours and knowing exactly what each little twitch means, each little movement means and what's going to happen to that ball. Um, he still struck out at times, but he hit a, a lot of home runs and, and became the best. Uh, Michael Jordan the same, tennis players the same, they can see the ball coming on a serve, they can see what's happening just with twitches and movements, whereas players that hadn't done 10,000 hours, they were reading bigger signs, bigger movements, they couldn't see those little twitches, they couldn't read the play, as well as these uh, performers who'd done 10,000 hours of practice. Um, obviously there's genetics involved, you're not going to be a, a Michael Jordan if you're um, four foot eight. unfortunately, you might want to look for another sport like wrestling or something, or um, yeah, there is genetics, there is things that go into it, but the big, uh, the big similarity joined all these top level players was 10,000 hours of practice. Um, same goes with top level businessmen, you know, they'll focus on their area, they'll, people that stick in the industry and they'll, they perform and work out the uh, nuances and, and work through the mistakes, etc. Those who have done the, the hours, done the hard yards, done the years of making mistakes and learning, are able to make those micro decisions and you see it they can they can they get information in and they can see the play and they can combine it with their um, background knowledge etc all those years of experience and it really makes a difference so um, there is there are so many similarities and 10,000 hours is a concept um, one other thing I'll put it into perspective at, at a um, tactical response group level uh, the guys at the tactical response group that always went back to basics and did I call it 10,000 hours, but hours and hours and hours of practice on the range, shooting the pistol, shooting the rifle, doing magazine changes, you know, empty magazines, changing the uh, magazine as quick as they could, shooting and moving, moving to cover, etc. Just, just basic things on the range over and over became really good at their job because those 10,000 hours that they'd cemented the basics down, they got them down pat, um, allowed them to have that intuition, have those instincts that's almost ingrained into them with the, with all those hours of training so they could concentrate on the um, the other things and more complex things happening on jobs with bad guys doing whatever they're doing, reacting, moving, uh, reaching for weapons, things like that. So 10,000 hours in anything is a great concept, one to, one to think about. If you've found a sport that you love, a business that you love, industry that you love, then focus on, on getting those hours up. You can be a jack of all trades, master of none, or you can become a, a real professional and put in call it 10,000 hours and become really good at what you do. So that's the thought for the day. I'll see you tomorrow.